Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would share with you just a quick and easy running out the door makeup um, with no foundation or concealer or anything like that. Literally just the basics so that you look presentable um, without putting a lot of effort in. Um, this is what I tend to do on a day-to-day -day basis if I'm not wanting to wear foundation or anything like that. Um, so let's get started shall we first thing I'm gonna do is prime because even though I'm not doing foundation I do have oily skin um, and my pores are pretty prominent so I am gonna put a little bit of primer on and this is just the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and smoothing and the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyes and I'm literally just going to take some bronzer. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. Um, clearly it's something that I love because I've just hit pan. And I'm just going to take um, the Morphe M433 brush. And I'm literally just going to take that and just put it in my crease and all over my lid. Um, just to have a little bit of color, but it's not like over the top. And I really like doing this just to add a little bit of dimension without having to work so hard. Alright, and that's done. Um, I'll do a little highlighter under my brow bone, um, but next I'm just going to take some loose powder. I've really been liking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just taking that with the puff that comes with it. Um, I had just have like the sample size so mine's a little a little one versus you know the normal size little puff but it gets the job done. So I'm literally just putting that all over my face. And I have a hard time with foundation, um, especially around my nose. I don't know what it is, but foundations don't tend to like to stick on my nose. Um, so it's literally like right after I apply it, it starts separating. And I've tried tons of different foundations. I've tried different primers and I just don't know what it is, but it just separates really bad. So this is why I like doing my makeup with no foundation because then I don't have to worry about 10 minutes from now as I'm leaving the house it looking like I've had my makeup on for hours so that's just what I like to do it's my personal preference I know that there's some people that won't leave the house without foundation on or you know that's part of their normal routine but for me it's just not um, next I'm just gonna take some of that bronzer on a big fluffy brush and just add a little bronzer And then I will contour just slightly with just a smaller version of that brush. Because I have a very naturally round face. So I like to fix that. Even if I'm not wearing foundation. And I am going to take a little bit of the Bed Nye Powder and Banana just to kind of touch up any um, anywhere on the sides just to kind of clean it up. Then for blush, I'm going to take the Bare Minerals uh, Loose Blush in um, Lovely. And it's just a lovely color. Um, it's almost like a 
kind of like a dusty rose color with a little bit of shimmer in it and a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. Let's see. But that's okay. I will blend it in. But you have to be very careful with this stuff. It is so pigmented. So I'm just gonna take my dual fiber and just blend it out. And if that's not enough, then you can just take that puff and kind of go over it. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting and just using my Makeup Revolution highlighter in Radiant Lights. Um, the lid came off of it, so I don't wanna do anything crazy. I'm just do a little bit of highlighting on the tops of my cheekbones and on my nose, a little bit of the cupid's bow of my brows, and then on my brow bones under my brows. Next, I'm going to do my brows and I'm just gonna throw some brow gel in, taking a spoolie to just run through them and then I'm just gonna take the Rimmel brow this way in medium brown. Mm, what a different brow gel makes. Gotta love it. Perfect. And then next I'm going to curl my lashes. And I have a hard time with my lashes because on this inner corner, outer corner, they curl so bad that it's literally just, and they almost like, touchy like the ends kind of curl all the way back excuse you so I have a hard time with mascara on my left eye um, but I'm gonna take a combo of the oh gosh the super sizer by covergirl and the lash sensational um, by Maybelline and just do a coat of each on my lashes I'll just take a super sizer all right and then last but not least my lips so I'm going to take this um, Colourpop lippy stick in the primer so it's just a clear um, just clear I'm gonna put that on my lips to prep it for my liquid lipstick And this kind of fills in all of your lines on your lips and stuff like that to make the lipstick go on better. And I'm just using the color um, Midi. gonna let that dry and then I don't have any of my setting spray with me but I would typically just spray a little setting spray on top um, 
just kind of let the powder sink into the skin better but that's it super easy um and when i'm not explaining everything it takes me about five ten minutes um especially because you're skipping foundation concealer and all of that um obviously if you have extremely red skin i mean i do have red skin but that doesn't really bother me um but just very minimal very simple um and easy to do um yeah that's it Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you aren't already. And leave a comment down below um, what your minimal makeup is, um, the products that you use. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.